for me, my Madeleine de Proust, my my Proustian Proustian Madeleine is what he's trying to explain is like when you eat something, smell something, or so, see something, and instantly reminds you, bring you back to a memory. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like for me, like the smell of uh, the fl Sempasuchi flower. It's a Mexican flower. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of my childhood because my mom and my grandmother, they used to put like these big ofrendas for the Day of the Dead. Mm -hmm. And it reminds me all the things that we did, like when I was a kid. So that's what he's trying to explain. Yes, thank you for translating for me. <laughs> <laughs> so mine was so when I was living in the, in the, in the Caribbeans, uh, the great Guadeloupe. In Guadeloupe, the great Guadeloupe. things Guadeloupe. I enjoy. Like I always enjoyed fruits. Like my grandparents, they had like a, a lot of fruit trees mm -hmm. and fruits like strawberries and blueberries and peaches and apples and really? nuts. And like they I live always, in the country? Or yes. Where did they live? In the, in the, they live in the country, but they always had, you know, pe uh, well, pets, like animals. Uh, it was like Our a farm, but without being a farm. I don't know how to say it. We're not producing anything for anybody else. It was just for their own consumption uh -huh. uh, but all the all the so i was going that was my my best memories were like you know to go to trees and and wait for the peach to be ripe and take it out of the, the tree peaches. and the cherries so there was a big cherry tree in front of the house uh -huh. that, uh, with great cherries and well anyway and when i was in the currency they had mango trees like that mm -hmm. and where i was living i remember so i was like maybe 12 yeah 12 at the time 12 13 and i was using my bike to just go around the neighborhood and and there was always like this um field with like mango trees and i would stop by and i don't think like do we realize that we don't do this type of things anymore or is it just me or people do it in the country because now everything is so everything so private or secluded can you believe just like well not using your here. bike and you stop by and you just like yeah, pick well, up mangoes here. out of the tree well i never because you will probably you will live all like you ha you were living uh, in an island on an island and, and i was living in mexico city in a city yeah so of course in mexico city in any city of the world you cannot just go in your bike and grab some other people fruit <laughs> from there like it, i don't think I don't it's even, even it was even our people it was just like I, nobody was it was just like a mango tree it yeah, was not well, for no, any it doesn't people's work. I mean, at least at least where i have lived it doesn't work like that. I mean, I don't even think that my my grandmother used to have um, lemons and what else? Eagles. Oh, and by lemon, she means lime. Yeah, limes. It's different in here in the United mm. States. Lime, lemons in Mexico is the green ones, and here are the like yellowish. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but you cannot grab some other people's stuff. I don't in in I the city. Know, yeah. In the city, I don't think there's even like trees with like fruit trees on the streets by like so that's a instance. shame yeah because like, so you country boy mm -hmm. i was always a city girl yeah I, well but i mean it brings you to like um something very simple in, in life that we forget to enjoy because we make things so complicated like we think that in order to be happy or to be peaceful we need to have this and this and this and that and there is nothing simpler than just like you know roaming by and stop and pick up a fruit from a tree and start eating it and taking your time and having your thoughts of what you're going to do next or what you enjoyed or wow you like, did have time like <laughs> you know you take the time to do things now we don't take time like when you have the time to do something you're whether on your phone in front of the tv in front of the computer you don't and that's why so many, many people meditate now it's because we don't we don't naturally i think we have it naturally but in this in this society we don't take the time to just like stop and 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 sit by a tree and just look There's around and and think but you know what i mean you have, you have so now now we call it meditation it's like you are obliged to do an activity that is called meditation and actually you're actually doing what you were doing naturally when you were didn't, didn't have all these distractions around you and and i think that's what we want to also replicate in vacation where we don't want to do anything it's like all yeah. inclusive and stuff it's like i just th just want to sit there but imagine like nothing. could you could you go on a vacation without your phone like without checking your phone no. I i could if i had my daughter with me yes okay if, yes if i have my daughter with me i can be without a phone for yeah me too i was yeah that's the best thing i think in, when i last year in greece i kind of did it mm -hmm. but it's not like 100 percent. but i think like 
ten, no, nine, nine years ago, when I was married still, mm -hmm. we went to this um, beach in Mexico. It's called um, Playa de Los Angeles. It's in mm -hmm. Baja California. You have no, it's in the middle of nowhere. To get there, to get there is like 12 hours and the near, nearest uh, place to buy stuff, it's six hours. So you have to stop there, wow. buy your stuff, and then drive all another six hours, but there's no reception there. No, not, not TV, no phone, no nothing. And those were the very good vacations. Yeah. The, it's, the it, we saw this. Wow, People are so afraid to be with themselves. Yeah, you don't, I mean, you don't do anything but to be on the beach. Yeah, face the truth. On the beach. We're bad and people. Actually, <laughs> Well, well, it, it was a good vacation though, but it's still like we, <laughs> we saw this shark, the no, the white shark, no, mm -hmm. the, no, it's a the the type of shark that doesn't harm anyone. It's a white whale, whale shark. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's a very big shark. Shark. Whale well, shark. <laughs> yeah. Shark. Yeah. I don't know. It's very big. Requin baleine. And I saw one, and he was actually just right, like it we were on a boat mm -hmm. and it's very like you're scared but i'm not scared at the same time you're impressed because it's so big it's and it's majestic it's majestic yes it's very very it was very majestic and the water was so clear the weather was perfect seriously no tv no phone so mm -hmm. we were disconnected like for one week now you connect with yourself yeah when you disconnect with the device yeah but that's that's what i want yourself. that's what i really want and i was like okay after all this covid19 kind of fades and mm -hmm. gets back to normal I, that's what i wanted to do yeah but and yeah I, obviously we don't want things to get back to normal we want to have better um yeah outcome. stop stop racism and stop intolerance mostly because that's what it is i think people need to work on their intolerance whether it's because of jealousy or because of you know, any other kind of feelings, to just revert back to my mangoes. Yeah, I, like, I really I want to go to Guadalupe, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> well, I mean, like everywhere, everywhere in the Caribbean is the same, but I mean, I haven't been there in like 25 years now, but so I don't know what it is. So. But um, it's like every, every time I, right now is mango season. Mm. So that's why I was saying that Manila? Like, every time I have an opportunity to have mangoes, I have it because it brings me back to this memory. Because before that, I was not eating mangoes in France. We did not have mangoes in France. Or maybe my family was not buying it. But I didn't know what it was. And it was the first time that I ate what, mangoes. What was because your first, it was coming from a what tropical... What was your first impression? Or when I you, love it. When like you it's, taste it's, it's my because, favorite fruit. Yeah, it's my favorite fruit. Manila, and, and on but top of that, it's, it's like super healthy. Like because it's full of uh, vitamin C. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's good for your, for your skin. It's good for your gut because it has a lot of fiber. Uh, it's good for so your digestive system. It it has so many health benefits. It's um, uh, I mean, it's an amazing fruit. It's I love mango. It's really really good. It's in season right now, and every time I eat one, I, rem I it reminds me of myself being under this tree and eating as many mangoes as I could and having stomach aches for exactly. two days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because because uh, yeah, the mangoes. There's a movie. Probably you know the movie, the Marley and I, Marley and me. Oh, and the, the dog movie. The dog movie. Yeah. And he used to eat mangoes. Oh, really? I don't yeah. remember that. Yeah. yeah, he used... To, there's a scene that Ma Marley used to eat uh, the man the um, neighbor mangoes. Uh-huh. Oh, and then he's sick. And then he's super sick. Yeah. Like, the dog has diarrhea. But for me, yeah, mangoes, it's one of my favorite, favorite... Man Manila. It's a Manila mango. And it, yeah, it's good in this movie. Well, we, they had, like, the so the honey mango... The, the yellow one because you have different types. It's a types. Manila. So, the one, okay. The one but that this type and then you had another type which was even better. Wait. It was a mix. What? It was a mix of, uh, uh, I don't know if you call that, like when you mix two types of uh, mangoes and it makes one and it's even better. Um, so, yes. This is the mango that Manila. Yeah, but I was saying like there's another one that I could never find anywhere else. Uh, but in Guadeloupe, like yeah, they made this special mango. It has like it was it was just like succulent. It was it's a, it was a dream in your mouth. It's scrumptious. It's scrumptious. It's it was even uh, better as as this I, one. Yeah, in Mexico we use the other mango. I don't one. I don't know which one is it either, but we use it with um 
we put chili, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course, like we we chop the mango. Yeah. And we put tahin. Mm -hmm. It's like a sour, like powder chili. It's so good. It's very good. And then, like, to make smoothie with them, and and in the morning, I I, I cut some for for my daughter. She doesn't like banana for whatever reason, and I, I, I do that in the morning with some toast and stuff like that. Um, so it's a very healthy fruit, and when it's I always eat what is in season, and it's my Madeleine de Proust. 